Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves, number 109. I do hope you're checking out the Dave's Faves playlist, a link to which is at the bottom of this video in the description so that you can sort of play around. These are basically short talks. Some of them have musical examples, most don't. Just talking about wonderful recordings from my collection, which I, I wanted to share with you. And, and you know the reception of this series has been marvelous. I want to thank all of you. Here's one that's really special to me. And one of you actually mentioned it, I don't know, a month or so ago. I was so happy to see it mentioned. And I thought, you know, I should, I should do a little talk. It's Duke Ellington does Tchaikovsky and Grieg Suites, and of course, his own music with Billy Strayhorn. This is a fantastic Ellington disc. You know, Ellington was, was a musical genius. He's one of the great 20th century composers. He doesn't get anything like the respect that he deserves from classical musicians because he was, you know, a jazz guy and possibly because he was African-American and, you know, you know what that means in terms of being given equal opportunity. It's rather horrible. But Ellington was, was, was fabulous. His music is fabulous and it deserves the concert stuff that he did deserves to be performed in concert. I mean, like anything else, it's great. It's just great. Nimi Yarvi did a bunch of stuff in Detroit, and Marcel Paris has done some stuff. You know, there are these pieces exist. Black, Brown, and Beige exists. Harlem, the tone poem, basically, has been re performed and recorded quite a few times. But there's a lot of music. He was unbelievably prolific. And most of what he wrote is in the form of songs. But he did write a whole slew of suites of various types, which can very easily be arranged for symphony orchestra if they were originally written for jazz ensemble. In this particular, particular disc, it's, there are three of them, you get the Nutcracker Suite, his version of the Nutcracker Suite. And these are all done for Ellington's own orchestra, which of course makes them wonderful because you've got those great reeds and brass and, you know. It's just tremendous. And then you get the Pierre Gint Suites 1 and 2, which, which is just excerpts from them, and you don't get all of it. And then there's the Ellington Strayhorn Suite Thursday, as it's called, which is his own original music. And it's just as good as the rest of it. It's fabulous stuff. This disc just blew my mind when I first heard it, because it's not just that, that Ellington reimagines the music in his own idiom, which is what he does. He doesn't play any of it straight. It's all rewritten. It's bluesed up. It's, it's jazzified. But it's done by a, a, first of all, an incredibly sympathetic and tasteful musician to begin with. And second of all, it's done in a way that really enhances what the music expresses normally. You know, the overture, the miniature overture from the Nutcracker is, you know, I can't play samples because I'll probably be killed by Columbia, but, or CBS or whatever they are now, Sony. But, uh, but the, you know, the Nutcracker overture. Yeah, da, 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 do, 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 do. You know, it's light, it's innocent, it's fluffy. Well, here it's sassy and much slower. It's ba, 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 ba. Bum, what? I mean, it's a totally different creation while still recognizably being the same thing. And it's like that. It's like that all the way through. One of the most wonderful parts of this whole thing is, is I think, in the Hall of the Mountain King, which, as you may know from my discussions of Grieg and Pierre Gint and, and how to listen to great music talks that I'm sort of fixated on in the Hall of the Mountain King, he takes this in a way which makes it sound just like Joshua fit the Battle of Jericho. I mean, they're so similar when you hear this. You know the Hall of Mountain King? Right? That's what it does. Well, here it's Joshua fit the Battle of Jericho, 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 Joshua fit the Battle of Jericho, and the walls came and tumbling down. I mean, you know, it works perfectly. It's absolutely amazing. You begin to see the, the relationship between these different folk idioms and populist music and the music the nationalist music of, of Grieg and Tchaikovsky. And how would you jazzify it up? You begin to see these, these connections 
that you never would have noticed otherwise. I mean, it's just an absolute revelation. And Sweet Thursday or Tuesday, no, it's Thursday, um, by, by Ellington Strayhorn is a lovely, lovely, lovely four movement work, um, which are called Misfit Blues and Schwifty and Zit Zursday, Zit Zursday and Lebei. And they're, they're short, delicious little character pieces. It's just wonderful music. Wonderful music. Somebody really ought to get together all of the Ellington suites that couldn't be got and do a series. He really, really deserves it. I mean, something that would bridge the jazz slash classical worlds because he really did. How did he do it? By writing great music. And great music is classic. And it's classical at some point. It just becomes that. And this definitely did. So it's on Sony or Columbia, whatever this thing says it is now, Columbia Jazz Masterpieces. There it is. And it's the Grieg, Tchaikovsky, and Ellington Ellington Suites. What a fabulous record. It belongs in every serious collection and all the non-serious collections too. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.